Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. Listen, I'm a former field application scientist turned medical science liaison. And I wanna tell you in this video, how I did that and how you can do it too. Hi, I am Dr. Viola Lanier and I'm a medical science liaison. And I am actually standing in the bathroom trying to do my hair before I get to a work meeting. This work meeting is a little bit different. It's not the one where I necessarily go to a hospital, talk to a group of physicians, or present something, or teach something. It is literally a meeting where I'm going to meet up with my coworkers at a headquarters in New York City. So, um, I think I'm dressed a little bit more casually, kind of. Um, at least, well, my bottom half, a little bit. Anywho, I want to tell you how I became a medical science liaison after being a field application scientist. Why? Because I think many of you are probably trying to do the same thing and, and that is become a medical science liaison. And I feel like it's important just to kind of be real and just explaining how to make this transition. And so in this video, I'm just gonna explain to you a couple of pointers, a couple of things that I've done in order to become a medical science liaison as a former field application scientist. Now, if you haven't already checked out my other video, the five non-traditional ways to become an MSL, then I suggest you check that out because that video also gives you a lot of pointers and tips. But this one gives you a lot more maybe traditional ways, traditional things that I've done to become an MSL. One of the first things that I did to become an MSL was I stayed patient and I focused on my role at hand. So what does that mean? Well, after I got my PhD, if you watched any of my other videos, it took me a long time to get my first job. I finally got a job as a field application specialist. After I became a field application specialist, I focused on progressing in that role. I wanted to get better in that role. I wanted to learn more in that role. And so I was a field application specialist, field application scientist, subject matter expert, which I consider kind of like a, a molded role, very similar. But I focused on literally those roles. How do I become really good? I really no longer applied for the MSL position while I was within those roles. The one time that I did, again, was when I was in between roles, when I didn't have a job at the time. My advice to you is I know it can be so tempting to consistently, consistently keep applying for MSL roles, consistently, 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 even though you know you may need to gain experience. And my suggestion is to maybe just focus on growing and improving in the role that you have at hand. Get really good at it. Really, really good at it. Network. Talk to people. Tell them what your main goal is. That's okay. But instead of focusing so much on, I just want to be an MSL so I can't focus on my current role and I'm just going to keep applying to all MSL positions, really embrace the role that you've been given, improving that. And eventually, later on, as you get better and you continue to start applying again, maybe, just maybe, you'll either come across the right person or you'll come across the role that's an MSL role. All right, guys, so I'm sorry, but I have to move around this room because I have to get ready for my meeting and I'm really doing this video because I'm thinking about you and I'm thinking about I'm grateful to be here. How did I get here? And how can I help others to get here too? And thus my second piece is to watch YouTube videos. You're doing it, you're doing it, you're doing it right now. And I would say, don't get so stuck on one particular person who's gonna tell you how to become a medical science liaison. Why? Because we're all different. We all have these different journeys, these different ways and methods that we've used to become a MSL. So instead of watching just one person or two people online, I would say watch many different videos, get many different pieces of advice and tips. And then 
Now the goal is not to use everybody's advice and all the tips. You will drive yourself stir crazy. I would say start to write down the advice and the tips that speak out the loudest to you, that relate more to your authenticity. You want to be authentic when you show up as, hey, I want to be an MSL to a company. And so in order to be authentic, in order for them to see that you're an authentic person or you have this authentic drive to be an MSL, then you have to start using the advice and tips that are authentic to you, to your character, to your personality. And so when you're watching these mini videos, start writing down one or two or three things that you feel like would be beneficial and authentic to you. You can also just take all five of those tips or all 10 of those tips that they said, write it down and then go through them after the video and circle the ones that most resonate with you and use those tips and advice and focus on those and do that with other videos if you so choose. But I would just say, watch the various videos, realize what resonates with you, take that piece of advice, take those tips and embrace them. Use them in your journey, in your application journey and see how it goes. All right, did I tell you guys that I'm in New York City? I am and so you can see a couple of the big pretty buildings behind me. Okay, now back to my tips. My third and last tip I wanna give you is something that I consider to be, oh, excuse the lighting. Okay, so my third and final tip is something definitely I consider to be a little bit more non-traditional, but in a traditional sense, it seems like it should be natural. And that is to talk to the previous professors that you had in your academic program most likely your academic PhD program, and let them know that you want to be a medical science liaison. So why? Because sometimes those professors have ties into the industry, or sometimes one of them are actually budding, starting a company within pharmaceuticals or biotechnology or medical device. You would be surprised. So in my school, I had a professor who was actually doing that. They were starting an industry company. Granted, his company was very, 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 very early, and so he wasn't ready for a medical science liaison, but he knew that I wanted to be an MSL. So maybe not then, but lo and behold, maybe one day, it's been like maybe six years now, but one day he'll call and be like, hey, Viola, I see that you're MSL now. I would love for you to join my company, and let me give you all this money, much more than you currently make, in order to bribe you. Well, I shouldn't say bribe. In order to convince you. Anywho, that type of communication could be very beneficial for you. So what that professor did do for me, the one who had the small company, was he started inviting me at the time to different functions that other industry companies had in order to get me to network with those people there. And granted, I didn't get a job from that, an MSL job from that, but it still was very helpful for me to break into networking and speaking about my passion for wanting to be an MSL. So my encouragement to you is find those professors. A lot of times you don't have to find them. You're usually already talking to them. Maybe you've already left the school, but build those relationships again, talk to them, let them know what your interest is and see if there are any networking events that they can connect you with, or if maybe they have any other bright ideas or suggestions that would be helpful for you. All right. So am I really doing my nails right now? Yeah, because I forgot to do them last night. And so I was going to paint and talk. Air dry with probably 10 minutes to leave and hope for the best. So guys, I just want to thank you for tuning into this video. I really hope these tips are going to be useful and helpful for you. Listen, like I said in this video, Think about which one works for you. Think about which one is going to be naturally authentic to you for you to embrace. And take that tip and take other people's tips and make them your own. Make them your own so when you show up, you show up as one of the most promising MSLs that they've ever encountered. Guys, I thank you for tuning into this video. And listen, connect with me. I always say this, I think, but I'm going to say it again. I am going to try to get better at producing more videos like this. I realize I just have to make it work with my real lifestyle. I want to do a lot more shorts, like just authentic, kind of maybe even vlogging. 
honestly i feel like that may be the most practical way for me to show up it's the most authentic to me right now in my lifestyle and so i hope you stick with me on this journey as i just encourage you to either be a field application scientist or a medical science liaison or just whoever you want to be as far as professionally in your own professional world thank you for tuning into my channel and i hope to connect with you again soon bye now i gotta get to polishing